Hey there. I haven't posted in a while. Been real busy. Had the flu. All kinds of things. But I just wanted to share this. One technique that I've been working with, I saw in a great book. Um, Encaustic by Lisa Rankin. I found this Reiki thing and I've been making all of these scratches in my paintings and it does concentric scratches like this and that I can well here's a better example I just did this one. I scratched through the yellow and then filled it with blue. Then after you do that, you get a sharp tool. I've been using this razor. And then you pull it away. I hope this turns out. If it doesn't, I'm not posting this. Begins to come. You have to be real careful and take the wax off every few marks, every few scratches, rather. We just had a blizzard in Michigan, so it was a snow day. So I did some paperwork and then I came to my studio. It's beginning to come through a little bit. But you have to be quite patient and I'm not really patient when it comes to doing these kinds of techniques. And again, I'm scratching with one hand and filming with the other, which is why this is kind of like, you know, well, you're used to the amateur quality of my films anyway, right? Well, you begin to see how that's coming out. Let me show you in another painting where I did a whole painting using this particular kind of scratching technique. Well, really, it's acknowledging the subtractive as well as the additive qualities of the encaustic. Say in an area like this I made a really thick line. I think I gouged that out with the screwdriver. And then here's one where I kind of like drew that and then I filled it with that green. That one came out kind of good. And they're still kind of rough. And I like the overlay, the wrapping quality of uh, this textural procedure. And so I've been using it in a number of these Flora Urbana pictures. Because what it does is it contrasts the very regular concentric rings that you can get from a tool like the rake with a more uh, frenetic look that you get when you're scratching with a tool like this. I like to mix it up. Oh, I might as well show you this. This was done with a stencil. Here's the stencil, which was I gotten from a barbecue section in, uh, I think, a Home Depot. Cost a couple bucks. But I put it on, painted over it, and pulled it off, and it got that nice texture. Well, it's really nice to. God, I hate using that word nice. Gotta get that out of my vocabulary. 
it's efficient and wonderful to use these different tools. So that's that. I'll check how this looks and uh, another studio update. Bye-bye.